we have an image title, Undiscovered Country, getting option, and it's not even out yet. How cool is that, man? Right? So the buzz around it is pretty big, obviously. And this production company, New Republic, which sounds like a boy band, but it isn't, is got this story. And I, I, like I said, it's not out yet, but this is the gist of it. Okay? The United States closed off its borders. All right? And in a 30-year time frame, there was some type of pandemic. And in search of a cure, they go to the U.S. and try to find that cure. And in doing so, we kind of have like this other image title, Manifest Destiny, with creatures and this, this new world of like monsters that have somehow appeared in Evolved. this United States. Right. And crazy. people are writing creatures. So it's, it's fascinating to see where they're going to go and how they're going to make this pop on TV or film. I pre-ordered it when I found out it was Scott Snyder. That's enough for me to get on board. Like the premise sounds awesome, but when you know you find out it's one of my favorite writers on board, then I'm all over it. Also, I looked up uh, New Republic Pictures, the studio that is behind this one, and they made uh, they were behind the recent Rocket Man, like the Elton John movie that just came out. They were uh, they put out uh, Black Swan with Natalie Portman a while ago, the uh, Black Mass with Johnny Depp playing Whitey Bulger. They've got some they got some interesting movies behind them. So this this could be kind of cool to see. I'm interested. I was at the retailer luncheon at San Diego Comic-Con when this was announced. I was standing in the back. I came in late. I'm getting my sandwich. I look to my left. I'm literally standing next to Scott Snyder. Shut up. About crap my pants. I did I not tried know to, this. Yeah, I tried to get a quick little story shot, and I, I barely got him in the screen. I had people DMing me, who was that? But yeah, he was right there. And I'm thinking, man, what's he doing here? That's crazy. So I'm standing in the back, and then they announced Image Comics, and they always have their publishers come up there and you know give their spiel about what's coming. And then they're like, all right, bring it up another writer that you're all going to know. And Scott Snyder comes on stage, and he talks about this issue this comic book that he's putting together. And he, this is how he described it. It's like, just like you said, you know, the borders have been closed off for 30 years. No one's heard from America in decades. But what he said that really got all of us excited was as a writer, sometimes you have a gold nugget idea, something that you just know is so good that it's going to pop. And he was telling that to the retailers because he wanted everybody to not just buy the book, but to get excited because he knew that there was more legs to this story. And then just months later, boom, optioned before it's even out it's crazy that's so weird i'm so excited I'm, I'm really really excited for this comic i have the ash can i got both copies i kept them i was asked by like seven or eight people at the show from dealers and some friends that were there they're like yo i'll give you 30 bucks for it i'll give you 50 bucks for it i'll give you 75 bucks for it and i'm like no i gotta keep this man i gotta hold on to it that book actually saw a decline to like 30 40 bucks at one point option news they're being listed for like two 250 Oof. What? And I got to tell you, I read it. It's really good. Okay. 